The Philly Odd Parents is considered to be one of the greatest kids cartoons Nickelodeon has ever produced. It even managed to spawn quite a few beloved TV specials and TV movies in the same vein as the show. Its forays into live-action TV movies, however, didn't seem to be so lucky. Because while not considered horrible, the show's three live-action movies are generally considered nowhere near the same level as the TV series, offering glimpses into a future most fans did not want to see. Particularly the first one. Seriously. Having a 23-year-old deliberately acting like a 10-year-old kid is kinda creepy, even by fairly odd parent standards, especially in live action. But that being said, today I'd like to take a look at each movie and briefly explore how good or bad each one of them are. And as always, there will be spoilers ahead. So if, for whatever reason, you've been meaning to see any of these movies and don't want to know what happens, you should probably turn off the video. Okay, so first we have a fairly odd movie, Grow Up, Timmy Turner. Considered by some to be the only good one of the three live-action movies, I will agree that this movie does have some merits. It can be pretty funny at times, and ultimately does convey its moral that it's important for everyone to grow up pretty well. Because while childhood is great, there are certain perks to being an adult that just can't be denied, as Timmy inevitably learns. But as I touched on earlier, the biggest problem with this movie is the premise itself. As once again, seeing a grown adult trying so desperately to act like a little kid can come across as unnecessarily creepy. And there's also the fact that many a fan of the show would argue that Timmy would have never gone to such lengths to keep his fairies in the first place. So on the whole, while it does have its redeeming qualities, most can probably agree that its very conception was an unadvised one. Now next we have A Fairly Odd Christmas, and quite honestly, this might just be the best of the three. Not because it's a masterpiece or anything like that, but simply for being an inoffensive Christmas movie. I mean, it has all the classic hallmarks of the holiday season, and in the end is just an average Christmas special that successfully gets across its intended message. With ability comes responsibility, and that giving is only good if you know how to give, because just letting somebody have what they want can often lead to big problems. And in many places, the comedy is also pretty good, especially when it comes to the gingerbread men. Seriously, that scene uses the Christmas setting clashing with Fairly Odd Parents' humor to its fullest advantage. So once again, while not great, in the end, A Fairly Odd Christmas is just your run-of-the-mill Christmas special that does its job of setting the holiday mood with familiar characters. And finally, we have A Fairly Odd Summer, which is extremely infamous among fans of the show for its very controversial ending. But even aside from that aspect of it, the only thing I can really praise it for is feeling like a summer movie, because it really doesn't have much else going for it. It seems that the show's writing issues finally caught up with the live action side of things with this movie, as it's written in a pretty subpar manner, and as a result isn't very good even aside from the ending. I mean, it has stakes, a lot of the characters' actions are understandable, but it's still not written all that well. And it's not all that funny, either. And that's pretty much all I can say on it. In the end, it's just subpar, for fans of the show or otherwise. Okay, so all that being said, 
It's really no wonder why these movies are pretty infamous among fans of the Fairly Odd Parents. With the possible exception of A Fairly Odd Christmas, they aren't really written all that well, and their ideas don't really lend themselves well to their setting. Again, I'd say the only one to even get it half right was A Fairly Odd Christmas, and that was average with the added advantage of having the classic Christmas special template to go off of in the first place. So chances were, as long as it didn't totally screw up, it was always going to be at least watchable. But once again, considering how they turned out on the whole, it's very easy to see why many a fan of the Fairly Odd Parents would prefer to pretend that these movies never even existed. Alright, that was everything I wanted to cover, so now I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think that any of the Fairly Odd Parents live action movies were any good, or do you believe all three were horrible? Or, conversely, did you like all three of them and think I was totally wrong about everything I said? Please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Because as always, it's okay if you don't agree with me. You can feel however you want to about all three of these movies, and if you think I've got it all wrong, that's completely fine. And thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate all of it. And I hope to see you all next time.